it's Wednesday. It's group therapy night. Um, and it is the last show of the week. Um, hi. Uh, it's, yeah, so I'm going on vacation tomorrow. Um, I will be gone for a week. Um, uh, next show will be next Friday. So it's like the next week just, just, just kind of snip, snip, snip. And it's just, you know, move it up, cop, you know, cut and paste and all that stuff. However computers work, I don't know. I don't know how computers work. Um, I also don't know how these chuckleheads keep putting up with me, but they do it anyway. Um, Barely. <laughs> God damn it. That's why. Because <laughs> because I, cause I, I can't deal with it either. Um, so, hi. Uh, welcome, welcome to group therapy night. Um, I don't have a solid topic for tonight, but you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll kind of go with it and figure it out anyway. We'll iterate on it. We will iterate on it. Um, I don't really have any like other announcements because... Yeah, just, you know, I'll miss you while I'm gone, but I'll, I'll be back, you know, next week. Um, but yeah, I got to get the fuck out of the house and I'm all, I'm all like juiced up now so I can do that. Sabrina's been juiced up for weeks. She's been juiced up for weeks. She's an educator. They got it early on, which was nice. So, um, let's see. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's all I got. Um, <gasps> there's a Sydney. There's oh, laundry was good. Uh, I've I've packed basically every T-shirt that I would wear on a regular basis, just so I have them. I'm gonna be gone like seven days, so I only packed like twenty T-shirts. It's fine. It's fine. Totally. Sounds to- like me. Totally normal. <laughs> and usually I don't pack that much, but like I don't know. This is the first like actual vacation trip for us that we've been we've you know gone on since all of this started um but yeah um it's yeah so i'm i'm just i'm nervous i'm ready to to go and do stuff and i also need to start some music we need some we need some some chill music where's the chill station um yeah there we go. Ah, pretzel. Thank you, pretzel. Um, so yeah, <sighs> yeah. So mm. just leading up to all of this, um, I've been really, really stressed out. Um, just because, again, getting back out in the world and doing stuff, which I need to do. Um, like being in the house all the time is just not great for me um you know thankfully i've i've had the stream i've been able to hang out with y'all which has honestly been a lifesaver for me because otherwise i probably would have just like pulled all of my luscious hair out by now um which by the way by the way i see it yeah, yeah, I did it. I did it. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm I'm seeing it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My great I, big bushy beard has been tamed. It's, it's. I have never seen you with that. That short of a beard. Yes, I was like trying to put the word. Like I, I'm trying to put do words. I can't do words. Yeah, it's the. Uh, it looks. It looks nice. It looks nice. Yeah, it. Well, it's thank not you. Bad. Thank you. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Um, it's the summer. It's the summer trim. Um, it's. It is already balls hot down here. Um, so I decided it's time. It's. It's time for for the 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 summer trim just to let it you know, so my my face can fucking breathe. And then I'll just let it poof back out because like by the time by the time I don't know like. October, November rolls around, it'll be decently poofed again, and I'll repeat the process mm-hmm. again probably next April. Um, you know, whatever, but I love you all, thank you. I don't I don't like to keep it too trim. I just like the the poof. Yeah, Sydney's only seen it once. She's and Sydney, I think like 
didn't I trim it specifically for your wedding? I'm pretty sure it was the last time I did it. So that was, you know, what what month is this now? We're in May. So that was nine months ago. Yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, that's been a while. It's um, been a while. Been a while. So, yeah. In a uh, hot minute. Boy, has it ever. Oh boy, it has been it has been a it has been a decade this past year. Um, it's Florida. There are many hot minutes. <sighs> there are. It's been a month this week. It has been a month this week. Yes, the fuck it has. Holy <laughs> shit! Was it quote thirteen? But Wednesday. Right. Actually. Ah. <laughs> uh, no, um, today was actually all right. So I I took today off, um, and so that means I didn't talk to to Lollipop on voice until you know the afternoon, which was fine. Um, as opposed to you know talking you? to him at like, <laughs> um, you're fine. You survived. You dealt with it. And did I? I'm 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 pretty sure you did. You're here. You're alive. You had funny stories to tell me about, you know, work stuff. So there's we got that going for us, which is nice. Um, yeah. It has been, yeah, it's been 90 degrees by 6 a.m. every fucking day this week. Oh. Yeah, no, it's been it's been just, we are, just hot garbage. We are not there yet. So I am glad. Oh, it's so but bad. We are not there yet. It's so bad, y'all. Like... Um, but I am looking forward to the weather, um, in Hilton Head, we're going to Hilton Head Island and we'll get that nice ocean breeze. We'll be near the beach. It's supposed to be in like the low seventies for the next few days, especially this weekend. Beautiful. So like, oh, hello Fritz's. I love you so much. Um, yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting out of the heat for a little while and just, in enjoying some some better weather and some time away just out of the house um now that we can safely get out of the house um 64 and rainy sounds lovely like that's 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 close to ideal ideal weather for me um Mm -hmm. 64 and rainy is like seattle weather which i am just all about um i would say probably like 40s 40s Fahrenheit is probably like my sweet spot. So like, you know, what is that like? Yeah. Like somewhere between like 5 and 7 Celsius. That's that's my sweet spot. It's like low to mid like like 40s. 40s Fahrenheit, 5 to 7 Celsius. That's that's it. That's the sweet spot for me cuz I put off a lot of heat. Like you see me, like I'm I'm not a small creature. I'm a bear for fuck's sake. So I put off a lot of fucking heat. I'm a space heater, which sucks in here because now I have four screens. I have the phone over here, which doesn't generate a whole lot. Um, but I've got this monstrosity of a PC now, and it generates heat like there's no fucking tomorrow. You're gonna. That I'll take PC's feelings. If you I'll don't take like it if you don't that, want it. No, 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 say, no. If you don't like that PC, you, you what, know where to. What send did it. I say? What did I say mean about it? You called it a monstrosity. It is a monstrosity. It's <laughs> it's gargantuan. It's freaking huge. And have you seen the specs on this thing? It's just. I'm just saying. It's ridiculous. Monstrosity has a negative connotation, so you're being mean to the poor machine. Listen, listen. Just because it's a monster doesn't mean it's bad. Okay. I uh, to to and quote just because it's big doesn't mean it's a monster. <laughs> to quote, re- it is a monster. It 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 chews through power and and processor cycles. So yes. Mm-hmm. Um, to quote Wreck It Ralph, just because it is bad guy does not mean it is bad guy. Like it's a bad motherfucker. <laughs> that's for sure. I don't I don't even ha- I I gotta figure out something else in here with like the 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 thermal dynamics. Like I gotta I gotta move like airflow somewhere. I don't know, because like I feel like it's getting trapped way over there where the back wall is. Plus, I have this big window here, which is like I don't know, like seventy five percent of the width of the wall. So, Just get a big cross fan and you know stick it out the, the window. 
I'm not going to put a fan in the window. I don't want to do that because the fucking HOA will lose their minds. I know this because I've been on the board twice. But what I am, I do want to do is I want to get some kind of like film to put over the window um, to like absorb or reflect some of the mm. the UV that comes in, and that should reduce a lot of the heat that comes into the room during the day. Because like right right now, it's pleasant in here. It's nice. Now I'm not playing anything, so I'm not you know I, the the video card's not fired up and and eating fucking cycles for for lunch, but. At least right now, it's pleasant. So I want to just, you know, I want to make sure that, that it stays that way. So Sabrina's been like, well, why don't you get the film for the windows? And I, I need to get the film for the windows. But I've been kind of the stress of going on the trip and being out of town for a week and, you know, Listen whatever. To the bean. The bean knows all. I know she does. Don't tell her that. She already knows. Because... <laughs> if she already knows, then there's no harm in telling her. Yeah, but then she'll remind me. I don't need her reminding me. That's the thing. Clearly uh, you do. Just like, yeah, tinfoil or one of like the windshield things. I would actually have to <laughs> probably put like, like I'd have to get like a big giant truck one to put in this window. Because it would just be like right there. Well, the, so the HOA is, they're very specific about the external aesthetic of the buildings. Because I live in townhomes. And they're they're like three to four unit attached townhomes, and they're responsible for the exterior. So technically, putting a um, a window unit is modifying the outside. So you have to go through them for it. So I don't want to deal with that. But like the film should be fine. Like putting the film in the windows on the windows should be fine because that way then it's not reflective necessarily like a tin foil or the the shield thing would be. Um, and it would it should should take care of the issue like it's it's basically like blackout curtains but before it hits the blinds so like that'll get most of it the blinds which are white should reflect you know mm, most of curtains. what's left yeah blackout curtains we have we actually have uh, a blackout roller shade in our bedroom instead of um regular like um um um, mini blinds and just fantastic, fantastic. We have blackout curtains everywhere in our house. We basically live in a cave, and it's it's phenomenal. Mm. The windows in here have two layers of blackout curtains because light is never, ever, ever allowed into this room ever. Mm -mm. No, and I, don't, I honestly don't want light coming into this room either. Like I would we like have, it like twenty percent or less. We have three gaming rigs and a work computer in here so yeah no yeah no, no for sure no outside heat needs to come in here so the only problem with with having like a portable unit in the room in s is like there's literally no room in here for something like that like i could possibly put it behind the desk over here in this corner but that's just it, like it already feels cluttered in here and it's like just really fucking with me is the way it is now and i i that's going to be what I do when I get back. I actually, because I still have a couple of extra days off of work when I get back from vacation, I'm going to live in this room and just clean it the fuck up. Like, I'll probably spend hours working on the cable management and everything else. Just because, like, at this point, I'm just, like, I'm, like, twitching because it's so bad. I think that's part of what's stressing me out, too. That will be Zunder's therapy is fixing up his room. I mean, honestly, like, that's... Yeah, probably so, because I need it. I need I need to clean up this room. Like, really, the cleanest part of this room is what's in front of me, which is nice because I stare at this while I'm doing stuff all day on this computer or while I'm on stream or whatever. But like, there's all of this stuff behind me, and I can like feel it like staring me down, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I gotta do something about it. Yeah, I gotta I gotta I gotta extra cave up the bear cave here. It's a bear cave. <laughs> it's because I'm a I bear, you, you see. You gotta come out of hibernation and, you know, tidy up a bit. Uh, I could use a hibernation. Mmm, hibernation. Mm, days of sleep. Like, that's, like, honestly, that's like the dream to me. Like, I just eat a whole fuck ton of food and then sleep for a couple of months. Like, that sounds great. Like, I need that life. That's just, yeah. And I'm sure you noticed I've been sipping on sweet tea again because 
<sighs> it's, yeah, it's it's been uh, it's been a month this week. It's been a. It's been. And, oh. Do we need to worry about you? No. Mm -hmm. No, you do not need to worry about me. I know Are that's never stopped anyway? you. I know that's never stopped either of you, but you don't need to worry about me. Uh huh. Uh huh. What they all say. That's what they all say. Mm hmm. <sighs> Always watching. Always <laughs> watching, Wazowski. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I'm. 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 I think that's. That's what I've got to do when I get back, is just clean the room. I think that'll help my stress levels a lot. And I think, like, once we're back from the trip, I'll feel a lot less stressed out also. Um, just because, like, now I'm be like, you know, finally doing a thing out in the world. Oh, thanks, mm -hmm. Alley Pup. Enjoy the lurk. Burb. Um, burb. Burb. Um, but yeah, I I, th I think once I get through this, that'll be nice. And then I'm like, I'll go eat at a restaurant and, and do like normal people things. And I can start reassimilating out into the world where I I live I live my days as a as a human impersonator. So yeah, that'll I think that'll be fine. Yeah. But like I gotta I gotta get through it first. But I mean, you know, I'm I got plenty of I got plenty of masks that I'm taking with me. We're both taking with us. Um we'll we actually have like a, an Airbnb, so we got a house, so we're not staying in like a hotel. We we do have a hotel like for later in the trip, just because we couldn't get the Airbnb for the whole thing. Um, but you know, we kind of like ease our way into it. Um, yes, Sydney, we did we did clean house um, a, a decent amount at least. Like the biggest thing for us is always the kitchen like the kitchen we've and we've been really bad about it lately just because of everything going on um like work for both of us um trying to do stuff in here for me and like this has been my escape so i've been spending a lot of time in this room like i've spent more time in this room than i have spent anywhere else in like the last month um actually the last cu couple few months now Cause like I've been doing my work in here for a while. I thought cleaning the house before vacation was just a thing you did for future you, basically to like make sure you didn't come home to a mess. That's how I've always viewed it. Yeah, it's one of those exceptions to the rule. Cause like you, y'all know how both me and Lollipop are. Like usually it's like that's future us's problem, but every once in a while we don't want to leave a problem for future us because that makes present us anxious. So that's yep. that's one of those things that we just we do is take care of that. Um, so yeah, yeah. <sighs> so um, cleaning the kitchen, we we were we've actually been pretty good about cleaning the kitchen the last like few days and like keeping it clean so that we don't have any you know mess um, before we leave, which is good. Um, like I, I just no, I, I don't want to come. I, I don't want to come back from vacation and immediately have to do shit. I don't know. That's just that's that's weird to me that people wouldn't clean before they leave. Like I don't want to deal with that shit. I don't know. That seems like a lot of unnecessary. I don't want to do that. Yeah, no. I've always wanted to clean a little bit before going, so that you just come home to like. Not like spotless, but just but like you never know how you're gonna be, and like you never know how stressful it's gonna be. And if you walk in the door and things are messy, you just like instantly ruin that vacation mood. Yeah, like and like you said, not spotless, but like livable, like 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 nice, like tidy, not like perfect. You just come home and and like walk in and not have to immediately go, God, what is wrong with this place? Just come in. It's like oh. Okay, there's a little bit here and there. Like there might be like a plate and a couple of forks or whatever in the sink, but 
you know, the rents, they're, they're not like, you know, there's not like standing anything. There's just, you know, just little stuff. I don't know. Maybe that's an anxiety normal thing, Sydney, because that's, that's something I learned from another anxious person that served me well, so I don't oh, know. I also am an anxious person, aren't I? You're an anxious bear. Oh, yeah. Shit. Maybe that's it then. Maybe. You're anxious because you're pretending to be a person. Shit, he forgot he was a bear. Fuck. What does he do now? Fuck. I don't know what to do. Oh, God. Oh, God. What do I do? No. Um, <laughs> I, I, I did have like a couple. Like I've, I've been like up and down a lot this week. Um, we did. We got a rental car. Um, and because mm. we don't want to put, you know, any that kind of wear and tear on our cars. Um, cause mine, I don't want to take mine on a road trip. It's, it's not like, it's not great for long distances, even though like literally the weekend after I bought it, I took it on a trip, almost the exact same length, just like shorter by an hour. Cause I drove up to, from here to Savannah, Georgia to go, um, have lunch with my mom, but it was, it was her, it was her 50th birthday lunch. So I'm like, I can't not go see my mom for 50th. Like, you know, it was a big deal for her, and, you know, we're pretty close, so I want to make sure that, you know, I got to take her and buy her lunch for her birthday. Um, and it was a good time to test, you know, try the car out, because I had just gotten it a couple days prior, and I got it from CarMax, and they have, like, the whole seven-day thing. I'm like, well, you know what? And if there's no questions asked and I don't like this car, I might as well take it on a fucking, you know, 350-mile road trip to see if I like it. That is true. So, yeah, I mean, it, it was fine, but, like, as time goes on, you know, it's not as comfy as it used to be because it's a little too worn in or whatever, or maybe I've, my shape has changed, or who fucking knows? The point is, my car isn't as comfy as I would like for, you know, a six and a half, seven hour road trip, and also Sabrina doesn't want to put that kind of mileage on her car that she just got, like, eight months ago now seven months ago um so yeah we're yeah oh i love you both viv and hidden thank you for the lurky lurks i love you very very much um so yeah i just um we rented a car um that's been a real big source of anxiety for us too especially sabrina because the last time we went on a trip and ha rented a car, uh, we got into an accident, and that was a really, really scary thing for her. Um, and it, it it works out because we we operate differently. So when some kind of like traumatic thing happens, Sabrina's anxiety kicks in in the moment. Um, so at the scene, she was having a really, really hard time with everything mm. as opposed to me, I, in the moment, like, like my, my kind of like instinct to, to like fix shit and take care of shit kicks in. And I'm like, all right, all right, we're taking care of this. This is fine. I'm taking, I'm doing this, this, you know, I'm making the phone calls, doing the paperwork, all of this shit. And I'm. Like in the moment, I'm I'm there and taking care of shit and taking care of her, and then I crash the fuck out later. Like it all catches up with me later and then hits me and then I just freak the fuck out. Um, but it kind of works yeah. because you know again by that time she's okay, and I'm you know I've I've done my thing. Um, so she she got you know she started feeling um not great last night and then she realized like it was the um i mean it's really kind of like a post traumatic stress because you know that was a for sure for her that was that was a big accident that we were in i mean thankfully nobody was injured everybody was fine but it was a really scary thing that happened and um you know that was like the last big road trip that we took so she's you know those kind of feelings kind of flooded back and came back to her. Um, and she's she was really worried about everything. Um, but, you know, I reminded her that 
this isn't that same trip. You know, we're going somewhere that I'm familiar with and most of the trip she's even familiar with because um, she's we've got to go through my hometown. Um, she's been there with me multiple times. So and I've made that, you know, I've made that trip a hundred plus times now. Just going back and forth between here and my hometown to go visit my parents or whoever. And so, you know, that's it's I I think that helped her out a lot because, you know, knowing that this is gonna be a familiar trip for us, um, and um, it's going to be a, sh a much shorter trip than the last one we were on. So it just, it, I think that all really helped her, you know, kind of quell those anxious feelings she was having last night. So that was good. Um, but, you know, as always, I bought the damage waiver on the vehicle so I could light the sun bitch on fire. And as long as I <laughs> tow it back to the Enterprise, they don't care. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I hear that. It can be tough coming back from something like that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure there are times that you still have anxiety from your accident that you had last year. Yeah, pretty much weekly. Yeah, see? So, and I... Dylan has never had any kind of anxiety over her. Never, you ever. You cut out, but... <laughs> Oh, but, well, I know what you said, though. I know what you said, talking about Elena and never, ever having anxiety about, about her accident. So, nope, never. I'm tussling with a semi, no. Never. Nope, nope. It's mm -hmm. not the entire reason I moved across the country to somewhere where I'll never see snow again. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah, NS, that kind of shit, that'll stick with you. It, it really does. That's why it's, you know, it's... It's important to, to when you when you're dealing with that kind of shit, find somebody to help you deal with it. It's so so important mm -hmm. to do that. Um, or move across the country, also so, a solution. Or, <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure, if you do that too, do that too. Uh, let's see what else. Um, so all packed, we got the rental. We actually got a nice rental. Um, so Ooh. we we got like the. Like a, did I did I reserve a small or a standard SUV? Because um, you know we wanted something nice and comfy and everything. Oh, I got. I'm sorry. I got. I got a sex email from. Yeah, this, this is pornography. I just received pornography in my inbox. It's from Outback Steakhouse. It's got steak and three cheese steak dip and steakhouse mac and cheese with breadcrumbs on top. This is pornography. I I was legit going, how did your spam filters not catch that? Oh, no, that's not spam. No, that's... <laughs> that is... a steak filter, and it said, come that's, on that's in. Fair. Yeah, it that's sure did. Fair. It sure did. I uh, fully understand now. Okay, so we, we got... I, I don't remember what like the, the, the class name is, but it's like, like a RAV4, because that's what Sabrina has. So it's like a standard size SUV, not like a crossover, a little bit bigger. Um, but we ended up with a 2021 Volkswagen Atlas, and it's just, Ooh. it's beautiful, and it's it's got all of the bells and whistles. It's got wireless Android Auto in it, like it's got wireless charging. So I just dip my my phone into the little like the little cubby, and it just charges. It's oh, it is it is so choice, and I already want mm -hmm. one. Um, now I drive. Yeah. I drive a, let's see if I can find a picture of it. Um, what is, is it 2012? Yeah. That's actually pretty much exactly my car. So let me show you my car. I do love a bloomin' onion. Oh my god, I love it so much. I haven't had a bloomin' onion in ages. That's the other thing I want to do is when I go to a restaurant again, get myself a goddamn bloomin' onion. Um, mm -hmm. Oh my god, the fucking the overlay. You're killing me thing. Where's my... Let me see if I can fix this real quick. This thing is... 
There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, is that the Elantra or the Sonata? That is the Sonata. So that is the Zundermobile, okay. the current Zundermobile. That's a 2012 Hyundai Sonata. So that's that's the that's the one that I drive currently, uh, in the in the silver and everything. So it's nice. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's it's comfy and it's it's the problems that I have with it. Um, here I'll show you again. So if you look at the tires, you can see the tires are really th like th the they're not very thick. So they're base they're sport tires. So tires are expensive and it's not a, the quietest ride. Now the thing has some get up and go to it. But it's, you know, it's just not like, oof. Okay, it's gone. It's gone, Ines. It's gone. It won't, it won't come back. Um, it's comfy. It's, it's, it's comfy for, yes, for a car. Um, mm -hmm. Well, listen, now, if, if, if we're going to talk about two-wheeler Vifa, um, let's see. Let, let me see what, uh. Now this is this is more of what I would like to That's more along the lines of what I would get for a two-wheeler like a big honking gold wing or something similar like a big nasty comfy cruiser that's what I want. Mm. Um so I'm, you know, yeah, I haven't had a two-wheeler in a very long time. And that's 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 if if I were to get a if I were to get another two wheeler, I would want something like, you know, something like that because that is just, yeah. Oh, I've seen your bike. Your bike is pretty. It's very very pretty. Let's see. Let's see if I can get a picture of your particular model. Do, 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 do. Hey, stop that thing. Yeah. I appreciate the look of two wheelers, but I'm personally not the type that would ever get on one. There we go. That's that's what that's a lot what that's 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 Vifa's that's a lot like Vifa's that's baby nice. right there, yeah. It's yeah. It's a good red. Yeah, Vifa's well, that one's the newer one, though, isn't it? I mean, I know, like... All right, let me see if I can get... Let me see if I can find the... Let me go... Hold on. Hold on. I'll go find the specific one. Okay. There we go. That's closer to what yours is like, because the one I had was the newer one. Yep, that's that's Vifa's right there. Lines are a little bit. I think the lines are a little bit sharper on this one than the other one. But yeah, that's yeah. that's what Vifa has right there. That's her baby. It's very very pretty. Oh yeah, I just pulled it up too. I pulled up the picture of yours, so yeah, that's yours. It's it's yeah, that's yeah, very very pretty, very very pretty vehicle. Um, so, but yeah, like if I'm if I'm going to get a two wheeler again, I'm I'm going to get myself a uh, it's like a big cruiser, like a Goldwing or something. Because. Yeah, I need something. I need. I would need something comfy because I'm. I am a large bear, and I don't need speed so much. I. I need comfort because I. I also am built for comfort and not speed. <laughs> um. So yeah, yeah. They really are. They really are. Like, oh, you just sit sit on one, and you just kind of. Oh, you just kind of just. It's so good. It's so good. It's, the feel of it is just so nice. Uh, years and years ago, I worked with a buddy of mine who had one, and um, just I sat on it, and I'm like, "Yep, this is it. This is what I want." Huh. 
she's a balance of both comfort and speed. That's true. That's true. That's a that's a comfy, but also uh, zoom zoom. So yeah. Uh, but anyway, so uh, yeah, we've got this. We've got a bigger vehicle that we're going in. Um, it's nice and solid, and it's got all of the bells and whistles. It's very very nice. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And it's a familiar trip for me because um, I've been to Hilton Head before and it's just an hour north of Savannah and I've made the Savannah trip, you know, numerous times. And then mm. that's just past my hometown, which I've made innumerable times because I've been living here for almost 12 years. This year will be 12 years um, since I've been here. And I remember where I lived based on where I've worked. I have to use like my, I use my resume, my CV as my my like that's how i remember where i've lived and how long i've lived there but it works um yeah yeah it's very very it's good for your trip yeah i'm I, i'm looking forward to the trip and i'm looking forward to mm -hmm. to a lot of stuff coming with the trip it should be a, it should be a good time just again getting out in the world being not in the mm -hmm. house for several days Going and eating at a place where, you know, da da da. Ooh, tires are one thing, but the fuel pump, ooh, yeah, that's not good. That is not cheap. Is not the cheap. Mm. Mm -mm. I very much want to go back to Savannah one day. Yeah. My, my family did like a just stopped there on our way. We had been staying at like Lake Lure in North Carolina mm -hmm. and they decided to take us along the Gulf Coast route on our way home because we had never seen the Gulf Coast. So we did like a quick stop in Savannah. So we were there for only like four hours, but it was just so beautiful. We took one of the trolleys that take you around and you know tell you all of the different stories and point out the landmarks but i i would definitely go back to savannah one day yeah it's, uh, just, it's, it's so beautiful it is it's it's a gorgeous city and it's there's a lot of like it, it's very unspoiled um mm -hmm. it there's a lot of natural beauty there like just public parks everywhere everywhere like you oh. Every, Every little square. Oh yeah. yeah, the the trolley or the trains through that area. Yeah, there's there's trolleys all around Savannah that you can take. Yep, 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 yep. Um, yep. And then there's River Street. So um, there's actually like so River Street is actually situated right alongside the Savannah River, and you go down to like the river level, and there are shops and restaurants just all along the river. Um, and it's beautiful and there's, there's so much to, to see. There's so mm. much to eat. Fuck me. There's so oh, much yeah, to eat food. there. Jesus food. Christ. It's so good. So um, good. yeah, there's so much good food there and there's a lot of good seafood because, um, it's right there and it's right next to the Atlantic. Um, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of intracoastal waterway that's up there. So you get like. A lot of um, uh, shrimp and, um, yeah, like the shrimp is the biggest up that way. Um, every oh, once in a while you delicious. get crawfish too, um, kind of depending. Yeah. But, which it's, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for, to, to summon Sydney so she can say it's not as good as Louisiana crawfish, which it's not. She's right. But it's, it's still it's good. It's true. But the shrimp. It's oh, true. Wild Georgia shrimp are the fucking best. They're just so mm -hmm. big and juicy and tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that lurking. I, I love remember, you, buddy. I remember. So in that, that was like the longest trip I've ever been on with my family. I think it was like a two week trip. So we spent some of it at Lake Lure and then we spent some of it at Edisto Island. Mm -hmm. And somewhere in there, we went to Charleston and we ate at. Is a supposedly a famous place there. I think it's called High Nimmons. Okay. Um, but we, I had the sea scallops. Oh, Jesus that They had Christ. just done in butter. So it was just sea scallops and butter. 
and perfection. Yeah. Like they were perfect. Yeah. Like that was it. That was the meal. That's all you needed. Yeah. Was the sea scallops and the butter. Oh God. Just. Mm. <laughs> Uh, Charleston is, is really nice. Um, Charleston was where we got lost and turned around. We were looking for Rainbow Row, right? Where all the colorful houses are. And we pulled over at this gas station and we had the most hilarious interaction. Wherein we asked someone how to get there. And in the process of him trying to tell us where to how to get there somebody else who was nearby was like oh no 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 don't listen to him he's telling you wrong oh, Jesus and then these Christ. two people start arguing back and forth about how how to give us direction that's amazing <laughs> it was great it was hilarious because of course you know you've you know there you've just got that that drawl that's you know southern drawl that you know, so just listening to them bicker back and forth, yep. uh, trying to give us directions is great. And maybe it's just because I grew up so close to that, but like, I know that drawl, and that's the Low Country drawl, and it's oh, yeah. it's very much like mine. So like, when my accent comes out, it's very much that same kind of drawl, and that's the one that you get mm -hmm. when you're up there. Um, and it's just like it's it's so so yeah. It just, it feels like home. And as much as I'm not a yeah. fan of my hometown, it still has like that homey feel up there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I know what you're saying exactly. Did I ever tell you all the story about like, like how I used to just fucking randomly drive places? I don't, I don't know that I have. I, I don't know, but this is familiar to me because I used to do this all the time. Oh, Alley Pup, go lay down. Give give your eyes a break. They've had a yeah, very big yeah. day today, and they look beautiful, and you should be very happy with them. They look amazing, and I love your face, all of it, including your right. eyeballs that hurt. Because um, you made them all pretty today. It's Not true. Not that they weren't pretty before. It's true. It's true. They were pretty before, but they, they have that, like, just like, you know, that little that little bit of finishing touch. Just, just mm -hmm. you know, wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. I love your face so much. Okay, go go get some rest though. Um, Sydney, you you do have an accent. I'm, <laughs> I hate to tell I'm you. Just sitting here like, I don't I don't want to be the, I don't want to be the one to tell you. <laughs> but I'm like, how are you from Louisiana and not have some accent? Oh, she does. She I does, think, and it's 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 lovely. Just by having a father from Louisiana. She does have an accent, and she oh, knows it, Lord. and it's and it's wonderful. Um, um, so I used to work on a casino boat, and um, mm -hmm. I worked on the slot machines there. And so what I would do is I basically kept the machines running, kept them filled with coins, and I also paid out cash jackpots. So you know, when you won over a certain amount, the machine would know that it didn't pay you out in coins. It would, you know, you you'd get signaled for an attendant to come do it. And that's what I did. I was a, the attendant and the technicians that one of the technicians that worked on them. Um, so, you know, it's a casino boat. We go out at night, people get drunk, they do their thing. We come back. It's like one, two o'clock in the morning. There you go. So, um, what I used to do is on nights that I would get off of the boat, um, I would tend to like be restless from just work and I'm a night owl anyway. So at that time, because of my work schedule, I could stay up to like three, four, five a.m. and just not give a shit. Um, mm -hmm. So my roommate at the time, um, we would do this thing: we'd get in the car and I'd go north or south, and then we would pick a direction and then we would just go. Um, so we almost always pick south, and then we would end up, depending on how far we went. Um, like sometimes we ended up in Jacksonville, we would go walk around the Jacksonville landing, which was abandoned by then. Cause it was like, you know, three plus in the morning and everybody had already gone home from the bars and everything. Um, every once in a while we'd go down to St. Augustine, but this one particular night we decided to go North 
And so we ended up driving all the way up to Charleston and we crashed for the night in Charleston. Like we, we went and we got like a, like a holiday in or something and we just stayed the night in Charleston just for funsies and then drove back the next morning. It was pretty great. Um, but yeah, I used to do the random road trip thing all the time. Um, mm -hmm. one night I felt particularly restless after I got off the boat and I drove from Brunswick, which is my hometown. It's about half an hour North of the, uh, Georgia, Florida state line, um, right on I-95. So I drove from Brunswick all the way down to Daytona. And when I got to Daytona, like the sun was just coming up. So I went into, I pulled into the parking lot of, uh, of the speedway and I just sat there for a few minutes and looked out my windshield and saw the sun come up and turned around and drove home just, just for funsies. Cause why the hell not? I had the time. That sounds, that sounds exactly like my grandfather. Yeah. My, uh, my mom's dad, he would just leave in the morning and drive to who knows where and then come right back yep yep i loved uh, it like and i have that same like wondering bug where you know like i used to have a one hour commute to the school i was working at and most people would be like but i didn't mind it because i got to drive through the countryside and it felt a little bit like wondering even though it was the same route I was taking. Yeah. So, yeah. but I used to do the thing where I'd like get up one Saturday and I'd be like, Hmm, I'm going to Oklahoma city today or Hmm, I'm going to Kansas city today. You know? Yeah. Um, very minor planning ahead. Yeah. I would just go. Yeah. I, um, I, I kind of had, like, you talk about the commute. I had the opposite problem when I was still commuting to work, especially at the place I'm at now, um, because it's it's a 10-mile drive. Like, it's 10 miles. Um, so, mm -hmm. in the grand scheme, it's not very far. Oh, Vifa, I love your face, too. Mwah. Go get some rest. It is very, very late for you, ma'am. I know it is. You need some rest. I know you're back at work, and so you've got to do it again in the morning. I love your face, and if I don't talk to you beforehand, I miss you already. Um, so, yeah, that that ten miles was an hour long commute because of traffic. Now, if it was a, like oh, an yeah. hour long commute where I could drive through the countryside like that, I would love it. Ice bear, good. But more ice bear, more good. <gasps> oh, thank you for that follow, Astrid. I appreciate that. Um, yeah. Because, A, the country here in North Carolina is beautiful, but also I got to see the cows and the goats and whatever wild animals. One day I was driving into the driveway to the school and there was a wild turkey. I had never seen a wild turkey just out in a boat before. Mm -hmm. So that was a completely new experience. I kind of forgot that those are a thing they um, are yep they are a thing so yeah it was like every day was a little interesting because you didn't know if somebody's cows got out of the pasture or maybe there were new calves that were going to stare at you awkwardly through the fence yeah um yeah so sure. they're so cute but they just stare at you yeah like little creeps like, <laughs> like what are you doing mow 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know whatever <laughs> I, or I never quite saying. got around to, I never quite got around to playing hi, uh, hay cow though so uh, I've never been that cow was, tipping but you know I've never been cow tipping either but I have played hay cow before there you go um yeah I uh I'm, I think that's one of the things that I'm really looking forward to on this trip is like driving through some of like the not the not interstate areas because we are taking the interstate for a, a good portion of it but like just getting just getting out and seeing like driving through like 
two and four lane highways with trees lining the either side. Just I need that. I, yeah. I haven't had that in a while. Just seeing the greenery. You know, it's I, a good thing. Yeah, it really is. It really is. See, that's one of the things that I absolutely don't really miss all that much about living down here is that 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 was most of the drives in Ohio, and I'm just like I can't, and I'm I'm quite happy without th with that being cut out, honestly. Yeah. But I also don't like driving as much. Right, and see, that's my thing. Like I I I love to drive, so it's it's definitely like it's it's. It kind of depends on, you know, what you enjoy. Um, mm -hmm. You know, if... if Sometimes I, there's nothing like getting in the zone and just going. Yeah. Yep. There is no zone. Well, not for <laughs> you. Just, anxiety. Just yeah. a construction zone. <laughs> just a construction zone. That's true. That's very true. There is no, there is no zone. There is only anxiety. Uh well, don't tell me that before I go and make like a six, a seven hour. Oh drive. no, no, that's just for me. No, I know. You're I know. you're a bear and you drive. I do. I do drive. Well, that's a that is an intensely terrifying thought. <laughs> a driving just a bear. Grizzly bear. <laughs> just a grizzly bear driving a car. Wow. Thanks a lot. You know, when I was coming into the office a couple times a week, it was fine. <laughs> was it? <laughs> was it fine? I mean, mostly. Mostly. <laughs> Mostly. Stop that. Mostly. Stop no. that. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> you, you nerds. You <laughs> bunch of fucking nerds. The whole lot of you. You keep us around for I, I'm on some reason. Because I'm a fucking nerd too. I'm just saying, you keep us around for some reason. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. haven't figured out why yet, but I think I think I just explained it. it's because I'm a fucking nerd too. Pretty sure. I mean, that's not necessarily a reason to keep nerds around. Well, hmm. safety and numbers. Because they're crunchy and fruit that's flavored. Mm-hmm. I am distinctly not fruit flavored. <laughs> I love that you went fruit flavored and not crunchy. Are you crunchy? <laughs> I mean, I would assume my bones would be crunchy. I haven't tried lately, but you know. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Okay. <laughs> I would assume that my bones would crunch. I guess. But I guess I, underneath I all the fleshy bits is is some bones in there. Yeah, that's probably a I good point. I distinctly object to being fruit flavored. <laughs> it's if I'm going to be any flavor, it's, it's going to be chocolate. Yep, I know. I know. So. Uh. I distinctly object to being fruit flavored. Fine, fine. Then in that case, you can be an M and M. You can be, you can have um, a nice candy shell with a chocolate center. Can I be those Hershey eggs that come around during Easter that are like giant M and Ms, basically? Sure. They have like the hard thing and the uh, chocolate in the middle. Yeah, sure. You can okay. be whatever you want. I believe in you. Okay. I've got some great examples that are purple. It could be a purple I, Easter egg. I, I want to be a purple Hershey egg. This is my new goal yeah. in life. Let's see. <laughs> I wonder if they pay for that. They pay for you to be, be an egg? Yes, this is fine. Well, I'll find a job that way. Well, okay, so here's the thing with the eggs, though. Like, aren't they all... Yeah, they're all pastel, so you'd have to be, like... You couldn't be a purple, necessarily. You'd have to be, like, a lilac or something. Lilac is purple. It's... Don't be purplest here. Okay. You cannot be purplest in this house. Okay, it's light purple, <laughs> and they have names Which for that sort purple. of thing. Which is a purple. Did you notice in your description of it the word purple? This is just proving your whole She's, nerd uh, point. She, she is not currently at her desk to see the face you were just giving her. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I gave it anyway. I'm just saying, did you notice the word purple in your description of the thing, which means that it is purple, and thus we don't need any of those lesser names for it. We just need the He's true doing name it again. of purple. It's fine. Whatever. Because light purple is a purple. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Listen, at least is be light precise. Is purple a purple? Uh, I am being precise, but purple is the only value that matters. 
Oh my god. Light or dark or pink or blue, all the purples are good. Some are better than others, but purple is the deciding value here. What I'm saying is all lilacs are purple, but not all purples are lilac is my point. But I'm saying I want to be purple and I'm not giving a fuck what kind of purple. Okay, I didn't know if you had a shade preference. That's all. God. <laughs> I, mean, I, I do have a shade preference, but I mean purple first, then shade um, preference. Purple first, then shade preference. Fine. Fine. Uh, Gosh. <sighs> Acting like I don't know about my own colors. I know you know. I'm just saying I know you have shade preferences too. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I'm on your side here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so why do you put up with us chuckle fucks again? I don't know. For the content mostly. Oh. The hashtag fish, hashtag content. Uh, the, the hashtag purple, hey, hashtag, hashtag content. content. Ooh, we get hashtag purple, hashtag content now? I mean, yeah. there's purple content. Like, you built a whole goddamn dome out of purple blocks. Literally purple -pur blocks, so... Right, I forget about that dome. Yeah. I'm so tired by the giant glass one. Yeah, and then we have purple beds all over the place. Again, for you. Oh, yes, because and now Allie and now Allie See, pup. That's right. More than myself. I know, but I'm saying they were all initially put there specifically for you. Mm, they could be shared. No, you could all understand the joy. No, yeah, they were purple. mostly they mostly were shared, but that's mostly because you would forget them in places, so we would just use them. Okay, so when we first started yeah. out, when we first started out, there were five <laughs> of us. Okay, there was me, Tom, the two of you, and Jonas. We were the original five realm dwellers, okay? And Tom didn't give a fuck. Jonas didn't give a fuck. Nope. He wasn't invested enough to nope. even give a fuck about a color. Lollipop and I specifically wanted blue because blue. Mm -hmm. And that left you, which was the purple. You're the purple person. So all of the purple stuff that we put in was specifically for you. But it benefited other people, and now it's benefiting Allie. Fine, but what I'm saying is the reason why purple things specifically exist in the realm is because of you. That's not saying that they don't benefit other people, but they exist because of you. I mean, purple things exist in the realm whether I exist or not, because crying obsidian is a thing that exists in the realm. Sure, but also, no one else builds with, with crying obsidian. Well, that's mostly because I ferret. A chunk of it away occasionally. Uh, occasionally. You and your secret stash. I know about your secret stash in the floor between the bedroom and the, the crafting room. Okay. You know about that stash. That's the, you know. You know, I could just pull down the world files and find all of your stashes. I'll just look for all. Ender chest. I can pull out. I can actually pull things out of your ender chest if I really wanted to, too. That would be sad. Hey, would you be said sad. two, two. Yeah, <laughs> two, two. Ooh, um, here. Okay, so apropos of nothing, um, I saw a thing this week about this this engineer in the UK, and Home Dude. Not only is Home Dude like in his, I think, sixties, rocking skirts and heels to work, but mm -hmm. Dude has some fucking legs on him. Yeah, like, I've God seen him damn. before. Is he on TikTok? He is I don't think he's on TikTok. Home. Oh, okay. Because I've seen someone who fits all of those descriptors. There's. I think I've seen him on TikTok too. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Not it was not the UK. It was Germany. Mm. Uh, let me see if I can find. But also, I'm impressed because, like. I can't wear heels. Heels are just not a thing for me. So I applaud anyone who can pull off heels and yeah, not no. rip and die. No, Flat absolutely. Are it. I can do like platform boots if I'm feeling like I'm, you know, 20 and edgy again, but that's about it. Yeah. See, I I was never edgy. Like that. I'm not edgy either. <laughs> I was. I was. Okay. Let me. Let me. Let me be clear. But like, I was never actually edgy. 
<laughs> but I liked the baggy clothing better, so I kind of, you like, know, pretended. Home dude has some serious fucking legs on. Like, look at this. Yeah. Like that's that is like that's impressive, honestly. Uh, yep. Like goddamn, like. Rocks the, the skirt too. No shit. Mm -hmm. No fucking shit. Like I, I wish I could pull that off. I've actually considered getting kilt. Um, even though I'm not Scottish, so I feel like maybe I shouldn't. But also, I mean, I probably have some Scottish ancestry if I look hard enough. Like, all of my people are all English. Like, they're all English. There has to be some Scottish mixed in there somewhere. You know, there has to be. Because I'm just, I come from a long line of very white people. So, if I can find some Scottish, and I actually have some decent Scottish you know, mix in there, then I, I would get a kilt. I would do it. Because oh, kilts aren't pants. I, they're not pants, yeah, they're skirts. That is true. So they are not they are not instruments of the devil. That's right. That's right. I, I just, feel like possibly I have some Scots-Irish somewhere. But the ir irony of my situation is I can pretty much tell you exactly my percentage of Cherokee heritage, but I have no clue what kind of white I am. That's fair. Like, I don't know. But you, you also, <laughs> you, like, you, I would, I would guess that you do have some kind of like Irish or Scotch heritage because you ha do have such a fair complexion. I think so too. And I think actually like the Scots Irish thing, I think is actually that it's, married into my Cherokee. Okay. Okay. Somewhere. Cuz I'm, you know, I'm not obviously I'm not full blood. So <laughs> What what percentage Cherokee you know, are you if you don't mind me asking? I'm trying to remember how they do it by a weird quote like I think if we broke it down, I'm probably technically like in somewhere between an eighth and a fourth. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, or one eighth and one like I'm pretty sure. Or is it my mom who's fourth? Because it changed recently because they found out somebody who they knew was Native American in our family, but they didn't know what tribe he belonged to. They found out he was actually Cherokee, so they upped our blood quote quote, quote um whatever thing. Right. If I were to ever take like a DNA ancestry test, it would give me an exact percentage. Yeah. But right now, it's just based on what we know about our family history, if that makes sense. No, absolutely. And that's, I've always wondered that myself because from what I understand, um, somewhere in my family lineage, we also have someone who was full blooded Cherokee. Um, and I think mine would be, and I know it's a much smaller, much smaller ratio, but I think mine would be somewhere in like between the one eighth and one sixteenth. Um, yeah. Because I don't, I, I don't remember whether it was a great grandparent or a great great grandparent that I heard was was full blooded. Um, but yeah. I, I've always wanted to to get tested myself to to find out, and I'm maybe I'll do that at some point. I just don't want to use yeah. a service like 23andMe or Ancestry or something like that. Like, I want to go to, like, some, like, actual lab and do it. And somewhere that's private and I don't... Yeah. I think that I would actually go with Ancestry. Um, 23... I mean, personally, speaking for myself personally. Mm -hmm. I haven't looked into finding somewhere more private, but... Like, from everything I've heard about 23andMe, they keep a lot of information behind a paywall. They keep a lot so of like your information, you want... period, is the problem with me. Yeah. And so you can't even access all of your information unless you buy into certain parts. Like, so you can get, like, your full um, health data and everything. Um, whereas I think with Ancestry... Once you do it, they just, you get all the information because it's just your ancestry. Yeah. Um, and then, like, for instance, with any time they update their databases in terms of, like, they've been able to 
develop data to where they can more closely narrow down certain genetic markers to certain geographic areas, they immediately push that out and you get that updated information without paying for it. That being said, it would be great too to look at maybe a smaller private thing. Yeah, my my but, my biggest problem is Ancestry, 23andMe, like these are they're essentially tech companies. Like Yeah. Ancestry is a tech company that their techs they're like they specialize in in cataloging like archival data on like um like birth, death records, immigration, stuff like that. So they like really they're just like a giant database where they catalog all this shit. That's all Ancestry is. Mm -hmm. So I don't I don't trust a tech company with that. Like I would rather talk to a lab, someone who's going to be more discreet and, and can give me that stuff. And if I got to pay for it again later to get like better results based on, you know, updated geographical data for markers like you were saying, I would rather mm -hmm. pay for it again than trust one of these companies because I just don't trust them. Yeah, I I personally have avoided them just because of the possible implications with the American health insurance system. That like, too. I'm just not mm -hmm. I'm not dealing with oh, you have the genetic marker for blah 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 blah, fuck you. Yeah, that's a pre-existing um, condition because you're genetically predisposed to have it. Right. I'm in, until I would love I'm curious about some of the stuff. I would love to get one, but until I don't know, we unfuck healthcare, that's not happening. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that too. That, that the fuck too. Yep. So I can see wanting to like wanting to do it privately where it's not connected to your insurance at all. Yeah, for sure. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, yep, yep. Yeah, and I guess part of my thing too is like I have family who have already done this, so it's like a lot of my genetic information is already out there. Sure, sure. So it's like at this point, they could still figure out my genetic information even if I don't do it myself. Yeah. Likely, but I don't know that they could prove since you haven't done it. There's still, at least for me, if I was in your situation, there's still some like, well, you don't know what I inherited exactly true like for for me since i'm literally looking at it from a health insurance point of view it's literally mm -hmm. just you can't prove that i inherited yes my mom and sister have it you can't prove i have it without doing the test on me yeah kind right of thing, or whatever yeah, you know exactly. like i don't have a mom and sister that connect but just like that that whole situation like and Obviously, probably not in your case, but there's also plausible deniability that enough of these DNA tests have come back with someone's not the parent of someone that they thought they were. So, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. there's a lot of plausible deniability of unless I do the test, fuck off, kind of thing. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, I hadn't considered the health insurance part. I have, like, I've heard all about the, like, genetic genealogy they've done to, like, solve crimes, like, old, mm -hmm. old cases, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, a friend of mine's big into ancestry and the genealogy and all of that, which actually helped prove that my dad wasn't lying about one thing for me, because um, he claimed he had skipped grades, graduated high school early, and immediately enlisted in the mi military at, like, 16. And so I was like, okay, so is that just another story? And she's like, no, actually, I think that lines up. Um, because she was able to find, like, his enlistment records and stuff like that. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking back in, like, the 1950s, so that's yeah. why oh, yeah. he was able to get away with that. Um, yeah. but, like, I just, I'm curious, but until, unless I find out a medical reason for me to actually be sequenced like if i found out like the the breast cancer gene was in my family or something i won't do it and yeah. even then i would be looking for a private to keep it off of my insurance yeah exactly exactly and i don't i don't imagine that i would have that um i mean there there might be some some potential for me to have some kind of of cancer gene because i've had some of that in my family um but still i just i don't trust a tech company with my genetic data if i can help it and i you don't want them to find out that you are in fact a bear 
I don't want science experimenting on me because I'm a, I'm a human presenting bear. That's no. No. But yeah, that's that. That's my whole thing. Is we we can't get privacy right on on much. So I I'm not I'm not sold on DNA and health insurance privacy. We can't get privacy right on on text posts and pictures. And you want to try to apply the same rules to fucking like the actual blueprint to your fucking body? I don't think so. I don't think so, Tim. I don't think so, Tim. Ah, uh, my mom tried to call. God damn it. Funny eyes under mom. I've told this woman, I've told this woman my schedule a hundred times, which is why, you know, she chooses to call. She forgets. Mm -hmm. It's fine. She probably in her head thinks, oh, those are the times to call. She, she just, no, she just, whenever, just whenever she'll just call. Just call. Okay. It's fine. Oh, so yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I gotta clean up this room when I get back, because that's, that's causing me a big source of stress right now. Once I get back, like, by next Friday, by next, by the next show, next Friday's show, the, the 14th, um, everything should be, like, my stress level should be a lot lower. Because I will have ventured back into the world safely. Um, the room will be cleaner. Er. Um, and uh, I will have fitted, fit in a vacation to kind of help just woosah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't wait for a vacation. Yeah, that's... Goose from a... I need, I need uh, a way. I need a way. Yep. Yep. I don't. I have a vacation coming up at the end of June, but we're not doing anything. I'm just. I have to take a five day in a row for. For financial work. institution reasons. Uh huh. Yep. For financial institution reasons. So. Yep. That's what I'm doing. We actually suspended ours indefinitely now. Um like as of a few months ago because uh, we had the same thing at the credit union where you have to take five consecutive work days off every calendar year um, and they went ahead and they've suspended that indefinitely um, which I like because at that point like you can choose your days off better because there are some people that like maybe they want to take like you know every third or fourth Friday off or something you know whatever they choose to do and um, instead of like taking like a big chunk of stuff. So I'm I'm I am happy for that, but we'll see how things go. I mean, it doesn't matter to yeah. me cuz I'm I'm going to be gone for the next week and a half. So. Since we went almost full remote cuz we're not actual bank financial institution, so we didn't have any reason to have to stay um physical. Yeah. Then they haven't suspended it because the only people that that's even remotely difficult for are is like my department and like one other department but even then they're just like just take it on your your home weeks like last year they made um everyone take it on their their off weeks yeah as much as possible and this year they're encouraging the same thing like just take it on your home weeks and then that's fine that's that but yeah it's it's frustrating because I just I I hate being told how to use my vacation. I'm just an ornery one. <laughs> no, I'm I mm. absolutely agree. But in your case, you know, you, you mentioned that you're not doing anything. Like you're taking it because you have to take it. But also, like, it'll be nice for you to have a break to where you can just relax at home, not have to worry about work stuff, and just take a few days to just do stuff that you know. Stuff that you would do on your off time anyway, but like just relax and, and chill and, you know, just to have that break, have that mental break is, is important. I mean, like I'm, I'm going to miss doing this for a week. Like I'm going to, I'm probably going to, because I have next Friday off still, like, I, because I'm going to be off through next Friday, 
Um, I may I may do an all day stream on Friday. I don't fucking know yet. I, I honestly don't know. I may stream all goddamn day next Friday because I have the time and because I'm going to miss this so fucking much. And I may just sit here and play Fortnite or whatever all fucking day. But... My you know, thing is, is the break is nice, but the enforced five days is frustrating because I don't... Yes. Unless I have something to do, I don't want a whole five days because that's a whole five days of fucking emails I had and fires I have to catch up on. Like, yes. It's yep. not as use as breakful as when it's a two couple days and I'm like, okay, yeah, I know everyone can handle everything. Yeah. Like, I can just like two days and especially with one of them being a Friday where everyone's determined to get out, I know that I'm not coming back to like a shit pile, but a whole five days is kind of like eh. yeah and it's not my preferred sabrina's the same way and she was concerned now i don't want to say thankfully but like she she was distracted during spring break because she, she works at a school so she had spring break off back in march and you know normally having a week off and not having like anything in particular to do would just drive her nuts like if she goes a night and she gets bored like it just it fucks with her because she just she wants to be have something to do something at least semi productive even if that's playing a game like she's she's gotten really into Call of Duty again lately so that's been really good because she's been able to have something to do and not just be bored um, mm -hmm. plus she gets to blow people's heads off so you know helps her <laughs> blow off some steam um, but just like the she got vaccinated the Sunday before her spring break started. So she spent that week just being wiped out and just resting and relaxing. And so she didn't really have time to be bored because she was busy just trying to recoup from that. And thankfully, all she had was just being tired. Um, but, you know, if she, if she hadn't had that going on and I was working all week, then, you know, she would have gotten bored and it and just... And I know that frustrates her when she gets bored and doesn't have, you know, again, something productive to do. And just having, like, this whole week, it's like, well, what the fuck do I do now? The house is clean. Like, day one, house is clean. Okay, great. Now what? Because, like, she will she and I both do that. Like, we'll either, um, like, we'll, she'll, she'll sometimes clean when she's bored or stressed. Which, being bored can stress her out. I will clean when I'm stressed. So, like, if I start deep cleaning shit... It's almost exclusively because I'm stressed out about something. I just um, sent you a meme that represents any time I have to go on a fight, like a, an extended vacation. Yes, yes, this is, this is, <laughs> yes, exactly this. <laughs> yep, here we go. Here we go. Huh, did we get anything done this weekend? No. Okay, then at least we relax. Somehow, also, no. That is me on my extended vacations if we're not doing something. That's been me for the last year and a half. I mean, that's been me for a while, but... But yeah, yeah, samesies. Uh, let me do something. Oh, no, I can't do that yet. Okay. But yeah, yeah, kind of samesies, because like... <sighs> yeah. I don't do well with downtime either. Mm -mm. Like, I know I need downtime... But I don't do well with it. No, I no. I do better if I can find something I want to do, not gaming wise, but like a hobby or something in my downtime. Yeah, because gaming is kind of like my fills the lull time, and so like that, then it feels like I should be doing something else. Yeah. But if I can find like a hobby, I'm okay for like a day or two, which is why I took two days off on my next work from home week. Yeah. But five is just too many too many days unless i actually like plan to like okay if i plan something like even if i plan something for like a day in the middle to like to go hang out with someone and like go out to eat or something then it's better because then it's like two days off one day on and then two days recovering from dealing with people yeah <laughs> i will be back in just a minute i'll, I'll be right back I like that he puts that meme up as his BRB message. I partially feel like he did not intend to do that, but it's still funny. 
I mean, it works. It's a good BRB message. Did we get anything done? No. Did we relax? Also no. Zack does have very good facial expressions hidden, I agree. Okay, okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I, um, you ever just, like, think of something and you're like, if you don't do it now, you will forget? Mm. Ah, yes. It's yeah. called my, my life. My entire life. It's called that list of things that I'm always just going to forget because... I did like that you put the meme up as your BRB message. That that was amusing. Yeah, I yeah I I need a full screen BRB at some point, um, but random I, memes will do for now. Random memes will do for now, and I will eventually get there. Um, I love both of your faces, both of you hidden and viv. So yeah, boom, do something about it. Um, yeah. So sorry, I just you know we're leaving first thing in the morning, so I just. Yeah. My brain How is dare. Everywhere. I know, I How know. How dare you do something that you need to do I know. for a vacation you're taking that isn't entertaining us this entire time. How dare? How very dare, Bear. Okay. <laughs> okay. AKA, do what you need to do, you dork of a bear. Okay. I am a dork. <laughs> That's why we love you. Mm. You don't. You don't tell me why I love you. I tell you why I love you. You love me because I keep you entertained. I mean, that's only one of many reasons. Mm. And being a dork is part of keeping me entertained. We'll see. Then it's oh, an it's see, an overarching right. reason. I, no, I think the dork is the overarching reason. No, Viv. We all love you. Yeah, and there's more of us. No, you. Uno reverse, Viv. Yeah, reverse. Woo -woo. I need a reverse card. I just, I need a thing to be able to play a reverse card on the stream. I don't know. I just, I feel like I need to, should I put that on a list? Yes. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put it on my, no, I do not want to pin it to the taskbar. Where's my? Along with your full screen. Uh, stream BRB stuff. Message. Stream enchantments. I actually have like a stream enchantments thing. Um, didn't I do this already? Oh yeah, it is Revenge of the Fifth. No, okay, okay. We well, I talked about this at work yesterday, and it got to mixed reviews. But I did see something that I really enjoyed, and I decided to share with everybody. Um, tired, may the fourth be with you. Wired, Revenge of the Fifth. Inspired. This is the May. Sorry, Mandalorian's the latest like big thing to come out, so that's got to be our new pun. Okay, let me look here. I want to look at where's my. Do, 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 do. Um. Apparently, people can hop into your car. While you were driving in Fortnite, they sure they're not on your team. They sure the and fuck can. And then you can take them off a cliff with it. I got to check off some dings. Um, I changed that, so this is gonna go over here. Things I'm learning, while apparently uh, no, the person who did win was just very confused because they were looting a supply crate and didn't know what was going on. I love that little chime when I check things off of Microsoft To Do. It's just, it's so satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, hey, COVID's almost over. My uh, Asana kick can start again. Ah, uh, see, see, Viv appreciates it. I, I, I didn't come up with it. I saw it. I'm just saying, I saw it and I shared it with my team at work and whatever. I'm, I'm also 
just noting that uh, we we have a peanut gallery who did was not a fan of your your pun. What's apparently. really funny? What's like hilarious about that whole thing is I said it, and immediately Microsoft Teams glitched out, and the two people on video their videos froze, and the the expressions on their faces was just perfectly heartbreaking. <laughs> It was just, <laughs> just wow. Uh, uh, <sighs> da, 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 da. Um, okay, so in my Microsoft to-do list of stream enchantments, because I have stream enchantments. Let's see, can I, can I open this in a new window? No, okay, so I have... I've done some channel point redemptions. I will eventually add more. Um, I one of them that I do want to get is um, Tom just going wrong because that's going to be that would be <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> that that needs to happen. Um, the sub badges I have all the sub badges in that I can do right now because I'm only an affiliate, so affiliates can do. Um, sub badges for the base one, two month, three month, six month, nine month, and a year. I'm going to spread them out a little further. So I'm going to do the base one, which is the white one. Uh, the green robe is the three month. The, um, the royal blue is the six month. And then the burgundy. Where is the burgundy? Oh, is it hiding underneath? Yeah. So in the burgundy is the one year. And then when we get when you get to, to two year, you get the black one. And then when you get to three years subbed, you'll actually get the milkman robe as your sub badge. So really excited about doing that eventually. Um, so I have those there. Let me update this real quick. Oh my god, F2 works. God bless that fucking team. Not to... Never mind. Well... I don't want to talk about people at Microsoft right now, unless they're here. I love you if you're here, any of you. I hope Ned's here. I miss Ned. Um, okay, so I want to do like, I want to do like the intro video at some point. So I want to have a little like show starter thing. So we have the countdown, and then right now we just go straight into live. I would like to have something in the middle that's just like a little something to start the show. Eventually, I would like to do that. Um, I also would like to, uh, um, what the fuck were we just talking about? We were just talking about something. Big screen, BRB. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Full screen, And reverse BRB. Unos. Um, BRB roll. Tom, Tom has been talking to me about, like, having, like, the, the BRB roll, um, which I, I, I would like to have. Um, and then reverse Unos. Animated. Let's see. Oh, I guess I could put that under channel point redemptions. Okay. Doesn't matter what you put in channel point redemptions. I ain't spending my points. I know you're not spending your points. I know you're saving up. Hundred thousand like points. Like every time I want you to take a crazy break, points. I whisper lollipop in Discord, and I'm like, "Hey, make him take a crazy break." I know what? that's I know that's exactly why he's been the one doing it was because <laughs> you are banking your points. Don't listen. I know <laughs> he wasn't born yesterday. I was born. Maybe in, I'm explaining for the audience then. Uh, if I, you know, I was born at night, but it wasn't last night. No, oh, it was two nights ago. Dang. <laughs> Anyway, so one of the He's things glaring at you, that's funny. So one Horrible. of one of the other things that I want to do too is, um, right now the the intro or the the countdown is like a dynamic clock. I want to make that static, and I want to just make that video at some point because, like, I literally have a plugin in OBS to do the countdown, and I don't I don't want to do it that way in case. Like, the less programmatic stuff I have to have for, like, little stuff like that, the better. Like, I already have, like, the overlays are one thing, but, like, I already have the date and time thing up there. 
which is is a script that I I have to do that. Um, which I like the date and time thing. I'm also considering rearranging things at some point too, but still keeping like the monochrome chrome around everything. Um, but again, this is this is like version two or version three. So I mean, I guess we're into version two of the stream now. Oh God, I'm referring to my fucking stream as software versions. Are you honestly surprised? You like jobifying everything. It's not jobifying. You jobify, thing you jobify things until you hate them. That's... Okay, so... I had this... We had this talk, or I, I, I went on this, like, stupid thing on Twitter a couple of nights ago where I realized that... So, my... This is my hobby now. Like, the stream is my hobby now. And broadcast, I've always loved broadcast. Um, so, like, this makes sense for me. This makes sense to me. Like, I love this. I love doing every. I love everything about this. And if I can have, like, a dedicated studio at some point where, like, I have all of this shit set up, god damn it, you know I will do it. Um, but this didn't used to be my hobby. Like, it was sort of like my aspiration. What used to be my hobby is now my job. I used to code as a hobby, and I did IT as a job. And I, I, I've been coding forever. Like I've, I've been screwing around with code most of my life. Like no, like I'm not exaggerating. Um, so I. I never wanted to code for work because I didn't want to ruin my hobby. So I got kind of burnt out on IT and I wanted to do something else. And I was like, you know, I might as well just try it and see what happens. So I've been coding professionally now for, oh fuck, uh, it'll be eight years this year, September. Um, and I, I was thinking about it a couple of nights ago and now like I realize like this huge fear that I had that was like always my biggest fear is that if I did it as a job it would ruin it as a hobby for me and it kind of has and I, I still enjoy it but I'm burnt the fuck out on it. I've been burnt out on it for almost two years. And I'm still doing it every goddamn day at work. And Lollipop can attest to this because if anybody knows me and my work habits, um, it's him. Because, like, we work together all day long. Like, even, like, just beyond the us being on the same team together, like, he and I pair up on basically everything. Um... So, like, I know that he's noticed the last few months I've been trying to do less code and more of, like, the the surrounding stuff. So, like, documentation and QA and, and, and like, a lot of the DevOps management and shit like that. Just where I can kind of get away with it. And the reason being is because I'm just fucking burnt out on coding. Like, my brain can't handle it right now. Because that requires a lot of brain effort that I don't. I just don't have because I'm burnt out. And like I was just laying in bed the other night and I'm like, fuck, man, like it finally fucking happened. It finally fucking happened. And I didn't realize it. I mean, it's been going on for almost two years now, but I didn't realize it until I thought about it. And I'm like, God damn, this sucks. And now, thankfully, I have the stream and like I love doing this. This this doesn't burn me out. This is the thing that re-energizes me because it helps me reconnect with people, which is ultimately what I do. Like I'm, I'm a people bear. It's what I do. I, I need to be around people. I need to have human interaction. And that's what, and especially being at home, you know, I haven't been able to have human interaction in person, you know, aside from Sabrina. Um, but I, I need other people interaction. You know, I need, I need like mass human interaction. So doing this and like, you know, meeting friends on stream and, and, and 
becoming members, you know, like joining different Twitch communities and, and stuff like that. Like that's been, that's been the thing that's really, you know, helped me get by with a lot of this stuff. And now I, I, it's just, again, there's still like coding stuff that I do on the side. Um, like, um, Microsoft has a, a font that they have. It's an open source font that they maintain on GitHub and, um, I maintain the official or the unofficial um, release of it over a um, over on uh, this this particular distribution channel that a lot of like IT and developers use. Oh, I love you too, Gene. I love you, friend. You're yeah, but uh, I um, so like I still do little things like that, and then like stuff for the stream, like the store. You know, like there's not much coding to it just because the storefront does all the work, but like the store, you know, the Zunder store. Um, where's my button? I've got a button for this. Here it is, exclamation point merch. Um, but like the store, it's, it's one little tiny page, but it's still a thing that I do on the side just to maintain the page and the styling and everything like that. Um, which I did update the styling recently to start to min oh where's the where's the thingy yeah so the the store style has been updated to now match the stream style a little bit more which i'm very very happy about with like the the block lettering that I use, um, again, very very happy about that. Um, but that's that's one little project, you know. That's one little thing. So again, like little things here and there that I still do, but nothing big on the side that I do anymore. So um, just kind of like I, again, I'm glad that I have this because. Otherwise, I'd just kind of be sitting around. Like, I wouldn't have bought this PC if I wasn't doing the streaming thing. Like, I'd just be sitting around playing the goddamn Xbox like I do. Or the Switch, or whatever. Um, but I wouldn't have met the people that I've met. Um, I wouldn't be hanging out with Elena at all. Um, and she, she and I were talking the other night, and she made a really good point. Like, if it weren't for all of this, um, like, I would just be, like... I would just be her husband's random coworker. Like I wouldn't be, you know, like we wouldn't have we wouldn't have had the friendship that we have now. Like I would just be yeah, I would just be random dude that 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 Lollipop works with. Well, and to be partially fair, it's not completely inaccurate, but part of that is also Chris compared you to a, a friend of ours. Personality-wise, you're nothing like him. Just kind of like sort of a similar approach to life but personality wise i was like oh oh never mind and then you're not i was like okay yeah. so like yeah you would have just been a random co-worker that i know nothing about yeah so you know and like, my resume would be shit i might not have gone for that job who knows i don't think your resume would have been shit you would have found somebody to to, to help you out with that but no i would have had to redo it myself and it would never have been as good because i can't redo my own as well as someone else's well, I mean, in fairness, I did, like, stare at resumes for, you know, four years hiring developers, so. I'm fine with my own, or I'm fine with, not, bleh. I'm fine with everyone else's, but my own, I'm just suddenly like, bleh, give job, please. So, I've been, I've, I've iterated over mine for a long time, just because that's what I do. Like, I've, I've designed and built my own resume forever, and I've gone from, where is... Oh, where the hell is it? Uh, yeah. Um, well, I can't really show it to you because it's got my fucking contact info on it. It's got my phone number on it. Mm -hmm. Which isn't hard to find, but still. Not when you're putting this out on on YouTube and stuff later. Like, don't do that. Let's see if I can... Can I scratch stuff out? Uh, how... You got thickness on this thing? Yeah, you do. Uh, 
There we go. Okay, that that may actually work. Because I don't care if you have... Oh, my LinkedIn, it's got the old address anyway. So let's see here. Um, so this is my resume from fucking almost eight years ago now. Right a, before I got the dev job. Uh, where's the button? Button, button, who's got the button? Nope. I ate it. It was delicious. It was a delicious button. I shared it with him. So like this is this is my resume from like eight years ago. I mean that makes sense. Yours yours looks way different, but you have education and certifications. I don't. Well, I at the time I was in the middle of my degree, so eh. still that's closer than I am. Well, yeah, I mean, fair. But I just, I don't know. I, I, that's, that's also, again, a thing that I did in, in a past life. Like one of the, the jobs that I used to have was I worked as a, um, uh, I worked as the art department director, which means I was the, like the, the primary graphic artist at a print shop in my hometown. Um, it's funny. I got the job doing that because I met the owner of the print shop while I was working at the radio station. So I went from the radio station where I was doing web dev and graphic design during the day and then voicing stuff for like commercials and shit um, on the side and on the weekends. Then I went to the print shop where I was doing all the, the graphic design, like design and the layouts and setups and all that shit for all the, the customer jobs. Um, at least the, the, you know, the stuff that my boss didn't want to do herself because She's got like a fucking master's degree in art from UF. So, and she's just like, like, yeah, she's creative as fuck. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. It's, it's just one of those things I've always done. And because I've done it so goddamn much, it's just, you know, that's why when we sat down to look at yours, it was like, okay, we'll do this. And an hour later, it's done. It's, there you go. I would like to think mine was at least in reasonable shape. It mostly just needed, like, words. It did. It did. That's And that's the thing. Like, you, you, you already had one that was, like, in a good place. It just, it needed zhuzhing up. You yeah. know, like just needed the form a refresh. I've been using... I've been using similar formats for a while since we had a friend of Chris's redo mine, but I'm always sucky at the like, what do I do? I, Barbing. I know, I know what hiring managers like to see because I, I've been a hiring manager and somehow I'm inching closer to that again. I was going to say, is that where you're headed at uh, Suncoast now? Listen, just because they have me interview people doesn't mean I'm going to be a manager. Yeah. I, it doesn't I, mean you're not going to be a manager. I don't want to be a manager again. You, you say these things. And, I, and that's not to say that I didn't like being a manager. I loved, I loved my team. So back in, like, when I had... I had like the three teams that I had that I was working with. I had the junior developers, the the DevOps team essentially, the DevOps delivery team, and um, the tier three support group for this one product that I was working on a few years ago. Um, like that was the they were the absolute best team, um, and part of the reason why I think it worked out so well is because I handpicked most of them. Like, because I was doing the hiring and the firing for that team, you know, I, I knew what made, like, good developers on that team. And, like, all the ones that were on that team, like, I would say 95% of them I would hire again tomorrow in a heartbeat. God, there's one, there's one guy that, man, if I could, I, my dream is to work with him again. He's, he's he's just the fucking best like he's he's hella smart the nicest guy in the world um and like he's the kind of person that's like hey um i found this problem i can fix it a b and c ways i think b is best because xyz reason what do you think and i'll make 
fucking great. Awesome. And so, again, like, we, I had a team full of people that were like that, though. So, you know, and, and that's because I, I, I learned to handpick them. And um, I just, you know, I did that because I, I got to see resumes day in and day out. And I, I knew what to look for after a while. Like, I knew it was the good stuff. I knew what was fluff and bullshit. So, and then working on my own resume forever, you know, I've had... Hold on, let me look at my let me look at what my resume looks like right now because it has Where's my latest version? I redid it a little less than a year ago. Now this is only two year or two pages, I'm sorry, two pages of resume. I won't go more than two pages because that's a waste. But I've been doing this shit for so long that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven jobs on there, going back about seventeen, almost seventeen years. Um, but like a lot of it, it was still like it, it, it's all kind of related to all the shit that I do now. Even if it's like only tangentially related to what I do now, so like it's it's all basically relevant experience, but you know I've I've worked at like fucking a dozen different places, but you know I also I'm I'm a Zach of all trades, master of none, so. Uh huh. I mean, I am. Sure. We can go with that. What 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 would you consider a master trade for me? I mean, I'm just gonna, I don't know. I don't fucking know how to judge half your stuff, but I know it's a lot easier for you to brush off your skill than uh, own it. Well, I'm, I'm not. Go with uh, well, I'm not like. And who's the master of anything these days? Well, that's and that's my point. Like, I, I, see, see, Viv, you get it. You, you understand. You, you, you are also one of one of us. One of us. Um, but like, I just like. There's a lot of stuff that I do. I like. I know how to do a lot of shit. And there are a few things that I know how to do well. Like, I code pretty well. Um, back when I was still doing IT, I did IT better than most people I knew, especially for my age group, just because like there were situations that I would be in now, like you want to talk about larger scale enterprise stuff where you're working with like a department of 20, 30, 40 IT people, probably not as well as some people, but uh, you stick me in a small environment where you've only got budget for one or two IT people. Fuck me. You'll never need more than one or two IT people. Hell. I left the construction company that I was working for. Now they just recently got acquired, but after I left, um, I left there almost eight years ago now, and they got acquired last year. Now they had a contractor that worked for them doing their IT stuff, um, but they had always had a full-time person as well. They never replaced me, because I bas I set the whole goddamn place on autopilot. So unless some shit hit the fan or they had to do like necessary upgrades or whatever, like I had to, you know, I, I just made it work. And that's part of the reason why I left the construction company is because I just got fucking bored. I like, I like the pallet one too. No one, no one calls me. I would have never moved. I would have never moved a pallet by myself if I had worked with someone who made that joke. I would have been like, hey, come be a pallet back. I do. I do wear a lot of hats. I really do. And, and but that's because, or I wear a lot of robes. I like to say I wear a lot of robes. That's why I got a lot of robes. Um, but uh, you know, there and again, there's there are things that I do well, and there are things that I do okay, and then there are things where I know aren't my strengths. Um, sure, but I'd like I I bet that you were closer to master on some things than than you might admit. I. I don't know. I, I don't know. Because like, mastery isn't a static, okay, I know everything. Mastery is knowing what you know well and still learning. 
Okay, but... In this age, mastery is, is not static. We're not in the Dark Ages where, you know, you, you can master the best way they know how to make a sword, and that's not going to change in their lifetime. Like, in this day and age, mastery is not static. No, I know, I know, and I know, Viv, you're right, but, like, like, it's just, well, like, when we moved into the house, okay, we bought the house almost six years ago now, <clears throat> and when we moved into the house, I started doing shit around the house, like, we moved in, and then immediately I bought a new faucet and replaced the faucet in the kitchen, and then I started swapping out um, outlets and shit, so, like, there's, there's, like, I don't know, by our kitchen counter, like when you walk in the front door on the left is our kitchen. Oh, I have the thing on my finger. Um, I walk by, there's, why am I playing with the stupid cable ties? Um, I Like you walk by the kitchens on the left and there's like this little lip that's there. So like the, the kitchen counter's here and there's a lip up here that you can put stuff on. Fidgeting, That's I, I do like to fidget. Um, it's the anxiety. Uh -huh. Um... So I, 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 there's an outlet that's like under, like on the back side of the lip. So like on the side that's facing the kitchen. So I replaced that with one that's got a couple of USB ports on it. Cause at that time I had USB stuff that I was plugging in there. Like I had, um, like a smartwatch or a health band or whatever the fuck it was at the time that would like, I get there and I plug it in. Then I later got a different smartwatch. I'd get home I'd plug it in there. Cause I'm not going to wear it around the house while I'm at home. There's no real point in that. Um, and every once in a while, I'd like plug in my phone up there and let it sit because I didn't have furniture that that had charging jigs on it at the time. So, um, you know, I did that, and then I started putting in like all our smart home stuff. So I've got smart light switches all over the house and shit like that. And so, like, we Sabrina's like, I never knew you were so handy, and I'm like, I just I couldn't do it before. We were in a rental, so there's no point in me doing stuff in a rental where I don't have an investment in the place where I could just put stuff in and then have to rip it all out again. Um, but I mean, that's stuff that I picked up, you know, like I, as a kid, I spent a whole lot of time around my uncle Bob and he was retired. Um, and he, um, did a lot of shit around the house. So like as a young kid, like my uncle's building additions onto him and my great aunt's house. So, you know, I just naturally picked up a lot of the stuff from him. And then I'm, I'm kind of mechanically inclined anyway. Like, I was the kid that was, you know, taking apart VCRs and shit. Speaking of kids, how do you do, fellow kids? Hi, Dad. Dad's here. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Um, so, you know, I just, I don't know, I just kind of picked up that shit. Oh, you can't do it, Viv. It's, it is, it is that, but you can't do it. It's... What are you kids doing in my house? See, it's special. Only Cracko can do it. But if you want one, Viv, you can you can tell me. I you I'll make you I'll make one for you. Um, Zach will make you feel special. He, Viv is special. Viv knows he's special. Viv knows that I love him. Um, but yeah, I just uh. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Cracko says that he will allow the mods to use the Cracko button. Where's the Cracko button? Let's see. Edit. Mission. Uh, okay. Rolls. Okay. There's no cooldown on it because I know Cracko and I trust Cracko not to abuse it because I know he won't. All right, give it a shot, Viv. You should be able to do it now. Do 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 do. Now, yeah, I, that's true. You do have every just Cheeto crumbs and juice as far as the eye can see. Is it not? What the hell? Why did it not work? Did I not? I did save it. Oh, 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 I see. Okay. All right. One more time. Oh, one more time. There was a, there was an and when it should have been an or. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I love. What are you kids doing in my house? There we go. I love, I love Snuggie's emotes. 
I mean, you know, not just because they're they're bear emotes. Well, you know, it's fine. Yeah, gib juice. Uh Tom was all gib potato, gib hash browns this week, huh, Allie? Oh hell yeah! Oh my god, I can't. It was, was was he the happiest potato oh. who ever had been a potato? I'm telling you, my husband left pleased. Yeah, I've I've he never was seen satisfied. him satisfied. I've never seen him leave the Waffle House not satisfied. Mm hmm. It's true. Uh, yeah, it was it was good. It yeah. was so good. Yeah. I got the hash brown bowl. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. With the sausage they crumble up on the top. <laughs> and raisin toast. Had them get raisin toast too. You know, I haven't had I haven't had a piece of cinnamon raisin toast in a very long time and it's so good. Just a little bit of butter on it. Mm-hmm. Mm. So so good. And it's like Something about them too. It's like it's not quite fully toasted, but you somehow don't care. Nope, don't care, don't care. I just it's cinnamon like, raisin. Like, fuck it, just throw that. Huh. And like Lewis Black says about cognac, fire that some bitch up and throw it at my head. Uh. Right. I was talking to my coworkers yesterday. Uh, my two uh, grade partners. And um, I mentioned that we were probably going to get, you know, Waffle House to break our, you know, quarantine from such places. And one of my coworkers went, why Waffle House? Um, <laughs> I mean, that's and nice. I said, why not? And like my other coworker, he like he was he had my back because we were like, uh, like we started talking about Fire it. And the one that said, why? Why Waffle House? And he said, well, I don't know. I guess I just have never, like, I've had bad experiences there. And we're like, yeah, you, we know. But, like, that's part of it. Sometimes you're going to get a bad experience, but you're still going to get the best food. But that's that's it, though. That's like, part of the experience is going to is. the Waffle House and wondering if it's going to be shitty or not. And if someone's going to try to fist fight mm -hmm. the cook and you're going to have to watch them get their ass beat. <laughs> Exactly. Like yeah, I, I, I part of me knew that that cinnamon raisin toast was not going to be properly toasted, and I did not give a fuck. I wanted it. Yeah, I have no love for the Waffle House. You guys can have all the Waffle House. Well, you you have you have different dietary needs anyway. I mean, there's food I eat there, but I I a, a Russian roulette on is if my food is going to be good or not is not my thing. I, I, I'm going to enjoy it regardless because I, as much as I enjoy mm. good food, I also enjoy shit food because I was I was raised in in mm -hmm. rural Georgia, so I I know the value of good food, but I also know the value <clears throat> of shit food. And sometimes you just want like a greasy pile of shit, a greasy pile of grated potatoes, scattered, smothered, covered, diced, capped, and chunked. I'm just saying. Sometimes you have to have that in your life. Yes, I know my Waffle House hash brown order because I was raised right. Maybe mm -hmm. I maybe I am getting too adult or get off my lawn, but at this point, grease just. Eh. Well, see, I'm a fat kid, though. Like, I, oh, I'm, I, I am too, but my stomach is not anymore. Well, okay, I'm 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 okay. I'm a fat kid, and my stomach is built like Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Like I can eat anything. <laughs> I can eat basically anything. Yeah, I don't have that luxury. So, mm. oh, technically, God. I don't have that luxury either. But but you do it anyway. But sometimes I, I do because it's Waffle House. Because it's Waffle House, and you again, being from the South, you understand that you know I what. Do. Sometimes you just gotta go to the goddamn Waffle House. Okay, Viv, and get those hash browns. Oh, no. makes a perfect point. But Viv makes an excellent point. Viv, you're you're okay. We literally like, where are we? Like right there, right over there. There's a Duncan right the fuck there, and like usually once once every week or two, we will go to that Duncan and we will get breakfast and we will get coffees, and there's a fifty fifty shot that either my coffee's <laughs> fucked up, 
either f- or the fucking sandwich is fucked up because I get the sausage egg and cheese on a croissant, not toasted with extra sausage. The croissant is flaky enough without getting extra flaky toasty bits all over me and getting all on my chest hair. I got enough crumbs here as it is. I don't need extra crumbs. But Jesus Christ, like there's a 50-50 shot that they're going to fuck it up. I've gotten to know the manager by mm-hmm. name. I've had phone conversations with the manager of the fucking Dunkin' Donuts that's right there. This is too much like effort for me. Like I would rather just learn to make my stuff at home and not talk to people. Uh, uh Ali Beth, since you're here, um you know my relationship, yes. you know my relationship with 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 local restaurants, don't you? Uh Zaxby's immediately comes to mind. And what's what kind of relationship do I have with the Zaxby's, Ali? Um they send you holiday cards. Yeah, I've gotten I've gotten from holiday. that location. Yeah, I've I've gotten multiple holiday cards from the Zaxby's. I, I'm happy Bo, it works for you. It just sounds like way too much effort. I would rather learn to cook whatever it is I'm craving myself. No, and I and, and usually like I can do that too. And God damn it, if I if if, if I don't cook a, a mean plate of food, I mean Nomster Jam. We're all about Nomster Jam around these parts. Hold on. Nomster Jam. Okay, so Nomster Jam is a thing here, and that's because people love to come over and eat the food that I cook, and I love cooking food for way too goddamn many people. And so, like, I keep, I keep, I keep styrofoam to go boxes in my garage. I keep plastic utensils on site because of Nomster Jam, and people will come over. And I will make too much food, and I will send them home with it. And they're like, no, I can't take mm-hmm. any. Y'all keep it. I'm like, no. We don't have the space for this food. Get it the fuck out of my house, and don't bring it you back. Se- you senior them. I, I, okay, first of all. <laughs> first. <laughs> how do Sorry. I? Sorry. First thing that came to mind. Am I am I kicked out? How how I, I'm never do, I'm never allowed on the stream again. How to ban I, your I? hetero life mate in law? Okay, <laughs> uh, that's what he was doing. Ooh, I feel Take like this. I'm Take words. this. <laughs> okay, this is different though because this is an event where people specifically come to eat and they know there's going to be too much food and they know there's going to be leftovers. Okay. This That's isn't, a, this That's isn't a wedding fair. where he's just trying to pawn off all the goddamn leftover salad and fettuccine Alfredo on me when I already have a fucking car full of it. That is fair. Okay. And I'm trying to okay. take his son and his new daughter-in-law away from him <laughs> because he can't be trusted. <laughs> Like the fucking God bless GoPro. You for that. Listen, the GoPro. Listen, I'm here the for GoPro. you. If there's anything that I am, it is here for you to get you the fuck away from senior when it is necessary. <laughs> so if y'all do plan a summer trip to come down here and visit, and you need a reprieve from senior or Just whoever else me. that may be that may live nearby, you know where to find me. I will be here, and we will have food. Yes. And then you can visit us, and 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 we can talk crafty things or something. Y'all can yes. come I won't have just, plants. just just come over here. Just come over to the house. I will make food for everyone. I will make I will make extra chicken, so you have chicken. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he he does know how to lure an Elena apparently. Do you do you do you know how? Okay, it's first of all Kraken. These things don't go... It's not the Zunder restaurant. I, I, eventually, I wouldn't mind owning a restaurant as much as I know that would kill me to do that. Um, but we'd have, we have have Nomster Jam. We do it in the Zunder Dome. Okay? Mm-hmm. We, <laughs> but I haven't built the Zunder Dome yet. No, 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 no. The, the, the real world <laughs> Zunder Dome. This is the Zunder Dome. Um, so, y'all come over... Okay, do you... Do you like grilled chicken, Elena? Yes. Do you like barbecue grilled chicken, like sauced grilled chicken? You don't put 
awful sauce. So you can season chicken, but you don't put awful sauce on chicken because then you have just ruined the texture and made me sad. Okay, now now hold on a second. I don't <laughs> like the taste of barbecue sauce either, so you can just like throw that out. Okay, the that's too. fine. Then I won't sauce yours. <laughs> I won't sauce yours. I will sauce the others. I won't sauce I yours. I will take all the sauce. As yeah. long Everyone as your else sauce can doesn't have, sauce. have excess vinegar. Listen, you're from Oklahoma. Like you grew up s literally surrounded by sauce. Right. I mean, but from every direction. North, coming from you, like coming to North Carolina, though, I I've learned to not trust barbecue sauce because I never know when I'm actually getting that nasty North Carolina stuff. That's true. That's true. I I'm I'm not a fan of Carolina sauces. Either one. Mm mm. Um, mm -mm. I like more. I like more of a St. Louis style sauce. Something, something mm -hmm. sweet, something sweet, smoky, tomato based. Yep. So my go-to is Sweet Baby Ray's, not the original, the Honey Barbecue, because I am a bear, goddammit, oh, yeah. it, and I'm gonna eat honey and stuff honey when I do it. Okay, but Cracko, yep. what kind of sauce is it? Because again, I have opinions, TM, on sauce. And there are specific you sauces on food, no less. <laughs> Fucking god damn it. It's always yes. food. So You're muted. I have opinions on whether or not I lose the game. God. God fucking damn it. Homemade bourbon. Bourbon barbecue. Okay, so that's probably actually the good shit. It, okay, and now... Because some places in North Carolina do make good barbecue sauce. And if it's... Just not many. And if it's if it's, if it's it's a, a bourbon barbecue, that means it's probably a tomato-based sauce, which I'm down mm -hmm. for. Like, tomato-based sauces mm -hmm. all day long. Because, like, I love tomato-based mm -hmm. barbecue sauce. I love fucking ketchup. I'll put ketchup on goddamn near everything. I like Heinz 57. Oh. I will eat my steaks with Heinz 57. Now, don't don't fucking get me wrong. A good steak should not require a sauce. It should be well seasoned and well cooked. <laughs> not well done. It should be cooked properly and well seasoned. However, I love sauce. I just love mm. gooey, globby shit all over my food. Because oh, it's good. amazing. That's where all my desire for sauce went was to you. To, was to me. I I took all of your desire for sauce and I absorbed it and 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 gained its power. Okay, uh, Cracko. I don't eat rare steak. I want my steak. How did how did one of a guy that used to be on my team years ago? He he said he went he went somewhere and he heard it put some way that was perfectly me. And the way Still is moving? this. No, no, no. That's rare. Butcher the he doesn't want rare. Butcher the cow and light a candle in the next room. That's how I like my steak. That is in, that's not even rare, baby. That's <laughs> that truly is still mooing. Well done or get out for me. And I'm not making you steak. I love you, but that's I'm not fine. making you steak. I'll make that's you chicken. Fine. I'll make yep. you some of my barbecue seasoned chicken. That is blue rare. That's right. You better believe it, Bubba. And it's it's my favorite. Good God, I love I, fucking steak. I like something in the middle of Zach and Elena right here. Like I want in the middle. So like, you're you're like Sabrina. I, Sabrina likes a good medium to medium well, mm -hmm. closer to the medium well side. I would I like will, to enjoy medium, medium because I've had medium. And it tastes mm -hmm. good, but unfortunately, my brain says no. So then that's not... Okay, so it's not that you don't like a medium steak. It's not that you necessarily want it well done. I don't you like puking. You need it well done for physical reasons. For brain is stupid reasons. And yes. that's that's different, though. But that's it's not your... You, it's not your preference. If you if you if you physically could eat whatever temperature you liked, you would do it more of a medium, right? Medium to medium well. There, okay, in there. and that's fine. That's that's fine. Now, but Lollipop, I know he just wants steak, everything cooked. Well, oh, I mean, I, you know, E. coli and hospital do that to you. But if my brain sees yeah, steak, I want to not I'm die. That's fair. That's he fair. wants to not die, and I'll end up puking. So it's just well done or. Or chicken. Oh, you would love. Listen, you would love the end pieces, the crust pieces, on the fucking prime rib that I make. Oh, 
I love, <laughs> I love making a goddamn prime rib. I did it for Nomster Jam a couple of years ago. Uh, let's see if I have. Doo -doo -doo. Can I go and see it? And will it let me? Um, this, is that the one? I don't think that's the one I made for Nomster Jam. Nomster Jam. Nomster Jam. Um, okay, so, no, that's not the one that I made for it, but here, I'll show you all. So, uh, this one right here, this is when I started the dry age process, and then I dry aged it for, um, several, several days, and boy howdy, let me tell you, that was some tender fucking meat when I was done with it. It was delicious. Um... There's when it started out. There it was, like, season. There it is with the dry age a few days in. There's the turkey I made. I wasn't, I was not happy with that turkey. Not pleased with it at all. Uh, let's see. By the way, if you follow me on Instagram, this is what you get. You get fucking food. Like, literally. Mm. Get, 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 get. I love how you've got the Zaxby sauce there along with your home cooked meal. Get the fuck out of here. Where's the thing? Get the. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Uh no it won't fucking Oh you do that too. No, it won't fucking scroll. You have to uh you have to enable the scroll as well. Where the hell is the this? CSS? Where did it go? I think it's on the body. Is it on the body? I think, yeah. No, it's not there. Where the hell did it go? Uh. But yeah, I am picking chicken lightly seasoned or grilled, and I'll do that. Or like marinated in Italian dressing or other things. There are there are varieties of things I've done to chicken, but I just I at this point don't do other people doing my steak. That's why I don't do steak anymore because I've had enough people be like, oh, but this time I'll convince you. Fuck off. <laughs> okay. You're not the one puking. Mm -hmm. Fuck off. So, so, so Sydney. We all know Sydney. So Sydney's had some stuff going on lately. Well, well, no, hold on. Um, I mean, I guess she did technically announce it here. Let me, let me, let me close the. Let me get back off that. So, um. So she posted a thing on Instagram. So she is, I know, right, Viv? Um, so she's she's pregnant. So she's not eating. She's eating well done steak right now. Um, but. She's pregnant, so she doesn't want to take the risk, and I understand that. And I have, like, I, I will cook her well-done steak. For health reasons, of course I will cook something the way that you need it done for your own health. That's understandable. Okay. It's not you specifically. I'm just sick of the... It's why I hate the well-done or bust debate, because you are sane about it. But enough people take it to the point where they're just like, well, then just don't eat steak. And it's like, mm, I want to punch them. Well, yeah, no. And I like, again, I will, I will, I will, I will cook your steak for you. Well done. If, if you truly need it, well done. Like if, and again, I know like you and Lollipop, you have, you have health concerns that you can't eat it less than well done. That's, that's understandable. You still want to enjoy steak, and you're I, like I can't fault you for that. So I will. I I mean I would absolutely cook it for you. I I will make you a steak. The only you're way saint. I'm just I'm just remembering exes, and that the reason I know I have tested this several times over the years is I have had this war several times over like the decade of my adulthood from ranging from my mother to several exes who will be like oh no you just haven't had it done right no 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 <laughs> how to ban frogs and masks okay okay rare chicken no vetoed <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> like like uh no uh, thankfully that is not a debate hey, that i have to have you know what else tastes like chicken cracko Frog, frog legs. Frog legs do taste like chicken. They sure do. Mm, that was a thing I would get when we were down in Louisiana. Mm. So is he 140 drumsticks in a trench coat? 
<laughs> well, 150, <laughs> but yeah. Because he's 75 frogs in a trench coat. Oh, okay. I can never keep track of how many of them there are. Yeah, 75. Don't, don't ask how I know. <laughs> Cracko, Cracko is cannibal. Cracko is cannibal confirmed. <laughs> um, mm. Yep, 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 yep. Now I want frog legs. I do too. I'm I haven't had frog legs had them since I was a kid, but I would totally have them again. Yeah. Mm, I want gator. I want more gator. Oh, I haven't had gator in like three years or something like that. Why is there mm -hmm. talking? I think for me it's been the last time since I've been to the fair here. I haven't had there's there's a couple of places locally that'll do gator. Um and yeah, like just <clears throat> very, very, very well done gator nuggets. Oh, mm. Yep, Gator's delicious. I can't eat it with Sabrina though. She, she will, she will. Right. Yeah, yeah. She, she will not tolerate me eating her, her children, her Gator children. <laughs> oh, so I should just be upfront. Don't ever feed me venison, ever. You can eat it. Don't ever feed me venison. Don't hide venison in anything. I have bottle fed and raised deer, and nope, won't do it. Can't do it. That's fair. Props I, to people who can. No objection to other people doing it. Can't, won't, never. I I, I appreciate your forthcomingness with that. <laughs> um, but also, I just want you to know that I don't hide food in other food <laughs> to try to trick people into eating it. Otherwise, I would have been putting onions in Sabrina shit for years. <laughs> but also, I know she will find it, and she would have killed me. So... I Considering I'm so alive I, still, I haven't done that. I have slowly done spite. Fuck. Mm. I have slowly done spice to Chris a little bit. Not like hidden, but I'm just going to be like, look, you say you don't like flavor, but let me try. And so he will eat things with seasonings now. This is... This is hey, this is, you know, progress. This is Lollipop looking for the spices. Uh, <laughs> no, he he'll do salt, pepper, and onion powder, and Listen, Mrs. Dash chicken. That's, that's a good blend. combination. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's the solid. Um, now, if left to his own devices, he will still put none of it on there. And I'm like, what are you doing? How do you even exist as a human? But how do? Okay, it's so delicious. Not even and plain. Not even as a human. How do you exist <laughs> as an Italian with no seasonings on shit? I don't know how he does it. Like, I, it's I, very I, confusing to me, and I just no. don't. So that I is like, where I get yeah, the, Krakow. like, I will, like, lightly hide. I would never hide someone, like, who has yeah, an allergy yeah, or a serious aversion, but I'll, like, I might, you say you like things plain. I might try and, like, flavor step you up a, a hair. Just a smidge, just a skosh. A pinch, I don't like flavor, a, a pinch, ton of mind flavor, you. so I'm not going to be like, here, eat this dripping and sauce and like 18 flavor thing. It's going to be like, all right, we tried salt. Now we try salt and pepper. Now we try salt and pepper and onion powder. Uh, let me ask you this. Uh, Lollipop, how do you feel about lemon flavored stuff? Uh, it depends on how strong the lemon is. So Yeah, I'm the same way. Lemon flavored like mm -hmm. meat and stuff. It depends on how strong the the lemon is. Lemon baked goods are like my addiction and crack. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, second only to chocolate. And... I'm not sure sometimes these days. Fair enough. Okay. Um, my tastes might be evolving. Uh, might unsure. The reason I ask is because um, one of my favorite things is lemon pepper seasoning. And there's like a specific brand of lemon pepper seasoning that I get because it has like a, like a, like actual body to it, but I can always dial it back. But would you be interested in lemon pepper chicken perhaps? It would be a try. Okay. That's it, fair. It, it would be a, a fair warning. If I don't like it, it's not you. It's my, 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 my toddler palate. Go get some sleepy sleeps, Viv. You have... <laughs> You have the earlies to be up. Go, 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 go! Get the sleepy sleeps. I love your face so much. Sleep well, Viv. Um, yeah, lemon warheads. Uh, uh, 
I gotta be in the mood for sour stuff, and I usually don't do lemon sour candy. That's just too much pucker nope. for me. I want to know. I want to know what the fuck you spent two hundred and sixty dollars in a restaurant parking lot on, because when you say you spent two hundred and sixty dollars in a restaurant parking lot, that sounds like some shady shit's going down, bud. And I gotta tell you, I'm gonna be your dad for a second, even though Krakow's here. Don't be doing shady shit in a parking lot. I'm I'm hoping that it's more normal and he just bought something off like Craigslist or something that he needed, it which could be is. less shady depending on that. But well, and then again, it's Craigslist, so you never know. I'll be the hopeful mom here. Uh, was it train stuff? Did you buy train stuff? If you bought train stuff, that's fine. Train stuff is good stuff. I like trains very very much. Garlic pepper is pretty damn good. Garlic pepper is pretty damn good. Um, but I, Jesus Christ, I love me some lemon pepper. And like, I don't like, so lemon baked goods I'm usually okay with as long as it's not like something that's too lemony. Um, as long as there's some balance to it. Um, I don't understand this, this, this phrase. I know you don't. So lemon bar. She, a lemon <laughs> bar. Like a lemon bar? That's too I much for me. Yeah. Okay. Then mm, that sounds I, amazing. I, 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 I love lemon bars. Yeah. And it's one of those I've things where I you. forget how much I love lemon bars until like I'm eating one and I'm like, why do I never make or get myself lemon bars more? Because they're amazing. Yeah. Until it's, unless it's gone too far into the sour and it's not sweet anymore, which means in my head it's no longer a baked good. And what are we doing with our lives? Then, as, as mm -hmm. long as we haven't edged into that territory, I'm fine. If we edge into yeah. the, like, it's sour baked good, that just defeats the purpose of baked good, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that just hurts my soul. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, I just... I, I like sweet stuff, okay? And, like, mm -hmm. I like sweet and savory stuff, but, like, I mean, I drink sweet tea and milk all goddamn day mm -hmm. like that's like that's basically just sugar one's one's sugar water one's sugar cow juice that's it's whatever sugar i might water i'm probably gonna take a bag of i got a i got a bigger bag of original craisins downstairs i'm probably gonna throw that in the bag for the trip yeah um but yeah so typically two percent um Two um, percent. Yeah, it's the only way to go. I love whole. Can't keep whole in the house because Sabrina's not great with whole. Um, two percent's a sweet whole's, spot, though. Whole's too much for me. I was raised on two percent. Whole's too much for me. One percent tastes like water, and skim is just worthless as far as because I <laughs> I have tasted all of them at one point and skim is just I might as well not be drinking milk mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like I could maybe eventually adjust myself to 1% I think but whole is too much and there's no reason to adjust up that's just if I already like 2% I'm better off there and I skim is just pointless so yeah skim is the worst hey hey uh, hey, hey the uh the the stonks skin is back I'm not getting the stonks. Uh, I was basically raised on skim milk and 1%, which I think is why today heavy dairies just don't work well for me. So, you know, I have the milkman robe. Mm hmm. Sometimes at the bar, when I used to hang out with friends at bars, if they didn't have milk, they would give me shots of. Of half and half. <laughs> uh, I used to be really able to, to do half and no half one. in my coffee. Heavy creamer, get the fuck out. That's it. Um, well, folks, um, I hate to break it to you, but that's it. That's it. We're we're done. We got nothing else. Okay, one more, one more chocolate craisin. Two chocolate mm, craisins. Chocolate craisin. Okay, two more. That's it. Yeah. <sighs> um. So.
I love your faces. Every, every, every last fucking one of you. Um. No, you. No, you. I said your it first. Your face was bad to see it. Una reverse. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. There's no Una reverse yet. Haha. -ha. It's on the list. I have an Uno reverse, so no. I don't see an Uno reverse. This is a coupon for two more chocolate craisins. Nice. <laughs> Kraken's like, no you. Um, I can't I can't really dab because I have headphones on and I'm fat. Um, let's see. I'm gonna be gone for a week. No crazy parties. Um oh. Yep. Um let's see. Wash your dishes, take out the trash, mow the lawn. Ew. For someone for that. No, as long as it gets done, I don't care if you do it specifically. Just as long as it gets done, um, I'm gonna miss y'all like a bunch. It's gonna I mean, be. We'll be a Discord away. No new cars tonight. No, it's it's no. There's no Tom. There's no Tom. It's not the same without Tom. I yeah, I I need the Rod Roddy to my Bob Barker for that. Um. Yeah, you really do. It's true. Tom. To do it without him would feel like cheating. It kind of would, yeah. It's not the same. Um, but yeah. Um, so I'll be gone for a whole week. I will be back next Friday. Next Friday the 14th. Um, I might do a, I might do like a long stream that day. I might start in the middle of the fucking day. I don't know. I might eat lunch with y'all. I don't, I don't fucking know. Who knows? No Give one really knows. Time to rest and recuperate. I will. I mean, I'll have all the Thursday, and I'll get back and clean the office and stuff, and maybe I'll just have like a stream on while I'm cleaning the office. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah. Um, <coughs> so have fun. Be good to each other. Um, mm -hmm. and I'll see y'all in a week. God, I'm gonna miss y'all. Fuck. Oh, all right. Uh, let's see. We raiding anyone? Oh yeah, no, we're raiding. We're. <gasps> you know who we're gonna raid? We're gonna go raid Hidden because she's playing the fork knife. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. We're 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 totally gonna we're totally gonna raid the Hidden. All right, let me get the oh, the raiding majig going. Raiding majig. Oh hey, that's someone else I'm not following. I'll do that when we get there. Yeah, you need to follow Hidden. Hidden's amazing. I love her. She's she's fantastic. Um, oh, here's the I don't raid think message. I follow her either. Well, I'll fix that. Yeah, fix that, dude. You should you should do that. Um, yeah, once again, fix that shiz. Fix that shiz. Um, yeah, but again, I love y'all so much. Um, in case I don't say it enough, thank you, thank you, every every last fucking one of you. Um, this is this is honestly like. And the crew knows because I talk to the crew a lot about everything that goes on with the stream behind the scenes. Um, but I'm just I, I I'm 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 floored at how how well this has all gone the last several months and how big this has already gotten. So I couldn't do do it with without y'all. So thank you. Um, yeah. Okay. Before I get too too much mushier, um, that's about it. So. Let's go raid Hidden, give her all of the love, be good to her, because she's very good, and um, I will see y'all, I'll see you in a week. I love you. Bye. <laughs>